The journey of faith requires strength, wisdom, and discernment. Today, we explore powerful themes of God's judgment, deliverance, and the contrast between living by the flesh or walking in the spirit. As we enter today's devotion, the central theme resonates loudly, choose the path of righteousness and trust in God's sovereignty. Our passages reveal God's power to judge and rescue, His call for spiritual freedom, and the unwavering protection of the righteous. Let us pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come before you in your word. Open our hearts and minds to the truth you have for us today. Let the Holy Spirit guide us as we seek understanding and help us to apply these lessons to our lives. We ask for your wisdom and grace to walk in your ways and bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Greetings, child of God. Thank you for joining today's Bible study and devotion. As we continue to grow in faith together, may you be encouraged by the profound insights and truths of God's Word. Today's readings call us to examine our walk with the Lord and to make conscious choices that align with His will. Let's journey together through these powerful passages and receive the revelation God has for us. Please note, we will have a word of prayer at the end of the sections. Now, get comfortable and let's get started. In Isaiah 33 verse 10 to 12, we begin with God declaring His imminent rise in power, preparing to execute judgment on the rebellious nations. His enemies, once defiant, will now be consumed as straw in a blazing fire. The dramatic imagery emphasizes the certainty of God's judgment and His absolute authority over all nations. Moving into Isaiah 33 verse 13 to 16, we see a contrast between the fate of the wicked and the hope for the righteous. While the wicked tremble at God's justice, those who walk righteously, speak truth, and reject corruption will find refuge in Him. This passage challenges us to consider the nature of our walk with God. Are we standing firm in His righteousness, or have we compromised? Isaiah 36 verse 1 to 22 recounts a pivotal moment of Israel's history when Assyria besieged Jerusalem. King Sennacherib's messenger, the Rapshik, mocked the Israelites in their faith in God, sowing seeds of doubt among the people. But this passage serves as a reminder that no earthly power can challenge God's sovereignty. The enemies of God may boast, but they cannot overcome His plans for His people. The powerful narrative in Isaiah invites us to reflect on the challenges in our lives. Are there voices trying to shake your faith, making you doubt God's promises? Be encouraged by the message of this passage, God will arise, and His people will not be forsaken. In Galatians 5 verse 13 to 15, the Apostle Paul emphasizes the freedom we have in Christ. But this freedom is not an excuse for indulgence in the flesh. Rather, it is a call to serve one another in love. Paul's warning against biting and devouring one another reflects the destructive power of unchecked selfishness and division. As we move to Galatians 5 verse 16 to 18, Paul instructs believers to walk in the Spirit, which stands in direct opposition to the desires of the flesh. He explains the battle between our sinful nature and the Spirit of God within us. This struggle is one we all face, but victory is found in surrendering to the Spirit's leading. The passage then outlines the stark contrast between the works of the flesh and the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5 verse 19 to 26. The works of the flesh, sexual immorality, hatred, jealousy, and more, lead to destruction, but the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control brings life and aligns us with God's character. This section of Galatians challenges us to examine our daily walk. Are we feeding the flesh, or are we cultivating the fruit of the Spirit in our lives? Paul's message is clear. Those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. We are called to live in step with the Spirit. Psalm 64 is a heartfelt prayer of David, asking for protection from his enemies. He describes how the wicked conspire in secret, using their words like arrows to wound the innocent. But David's confidence is in God's justice. 
In Psalm 64 verse 7 to 9, we see God's intervention, where he turns the schemes of the wicked against them, exposing their evil deeds. This psalm serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness to protect and defend the righteous. No plot or plan formed against God's people will prosper. Just as David trusted in God's deliverance, we too can trust that he sees every injustice and will act in his perfect timing. This short but powerful verse in Proverbs 23 verse 23 encourages us to buy the truth and do not sell it, wisdom, instruction, and understanding. In a world where truth is often compromised for personal gain, this proverb reminds us of the eternal value of truth and wisdom. They are treasures that should be pursued, guarded, and never sacrificed. Today's readings have been rich with truth and powerful lessons for our lives. In Isaiah, we learn of God's sovereignty and the certainty of His deliverance for those who trust in Him. Despite the threats and doubts sown by the enemy, God is faithful to rise in power and rescue His people. In Galatians, we are reminded of the importance of walking by the Spirit and not indulging the desires of the flesh. Our freedom in Christ is not a license for selfishness, but a call to live out the fruit of the Spirit, serving one another in love. In Psalm 64, we find comfort in knowing that God is our protector. No scheme of the enemy can succeed when we put our trust in him. And finally, Proverbs teaches us to value wisdom, truth, and understanding, for they are the keys to a life aligned with God's will. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rich lessons from your word today. We ask that you help us to trust in your sovereignty as Isaiah taught us, knowing that you will always defend and deliver us. Strengthen us to walk in the Spirit, bearing fruit that reflects your character as we resist the temptations of the flesh. Protect us from the plans of the enemy, just as you protected David in Psalm 64. May we treasure wisdom, truth, and understanding as we navigate the challenges of life. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving, amen and amen. Thank you, child of God, for joining today's Bible study. I pray you were encouraged and challenged by the word. If you were blessed by today's message, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more devotions and teachings. Your support means so much, and I look forward to continuing this journey with you. May God bless you and keep you in his perfect peace. Shalom.